Good afternoon, I'm Peyton Johnson. And I'm Nick Russo, and this is Wolfpack News for Thursday, September 11th, 2014. The homecoming dance is October 11th. Any student planning to attend with a guest who is not an OE student must turn in a guest pass to the Dean's Office. Guest passes can be found in the Dean's Office or online and must be turned in by October 1st. No exceptions. Aurora East High School is hosting a National Hispanic College Fair on Wednesday, October 1st from 9 to 10.20 a.m. There will be more than 50 colleges and universities represented. Go down to Student Services for more information. The PSAT will be offered here at East on Saturday, October 18th. The PSAT is an optional test. If you'd like to sign up, go to Student Services. The test fee is $20. Now it's time for entertainment. Here's Alicia. The 10th annual Crosstown Challenge football game will be held at OEHS on October 3rd. Pick up a navy long sleeve Memorial Crosstown t-shirt at the Commons stands before school through Friday for $15. That's the latest in entertainment news. Now back to the anchor desk. Any sophomores interested in being a part of the sophomore class committee should come to the first meeting next Monday after school in E392. Bring ideas for the t-shirt designs for class color day during homecoming week. Contact Mrs. Knudsen with questions. The first League of United Latin American Citizens meeting will be held next Wednesday after school in J107. If you have any questions, see Joe Sanchez or Daisy Ozaguerra. Seniors with a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher are eligible for the National Honor Society membership. Download the necessary forms from Mrs. Calvi's website or see Mrs. Calvi in the English department office with any questions. Teachers' recommendations and the interest inventory are due no later than October 3rd. Business Club's first meeting is next Monday in room C111. See Ms. Brown with any questions. Mu Alpha Theta is accepting new members. In order to join, you need to have a math GPA of 3.7 or higher, as well as completed Algebra 2 or Algebra 2 honors. If you qualify, pick up an application outside the math office in E380. Applications are due by September 29th. See Mrs. Knutson or Mrs. Gossett for any questions. The Future Educators Association is also looking for members. FEA is a group that, op that is open to any student who is interested in becoming a teacher or working with children. Sign up with Ms. Van Wee and also turn in the yearly dues. Student Services is proud to announce the 7th Annual College Fair next Monday during the school day. All sophomores and seniors will attend. There will be 60 colleges and 4 branches of the military represented. All grade levels are invited, to attend, are invited to attend college visits through the end of September for Iowa Wesleyan, Ferris State, Yale, U of I, Robert Morris, Marquette, Kent State, and Truman University. See Mrs. Weber in the, col see Mrs. Weber in the College and Career Center to sign up. If you're looking for service hour, hours, Boulder Hill Elementary School has several events coming up and they need volunteers. Go to Student Services to sign up. Talk leadership applications are available for pickup in Student Services. Visit Student Services with any questions. And now it's time for sports. Here's Angel. There will be a brief informational meeting next Monday after school in the comments for any girls interested in playing powder puff football and boys interested in coaching. Please see Ms. Kyrgios if you have any questions. After school, strength and conditioning is being offered Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 2.40 to 4 p.m. Anyone is welcome to attend and get in shape. That's the latest in sports. Now, back to the Anchor Desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Peyton Johnson. And I'm Nick Russo. Join us again tomorrow here on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.